I going to stop for this? No. Am I going to slow down? Sure, but I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Son of my people! What is up, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? In the comments below, tell me, are you going to motocross? Or Lucas Oil Motocross, whatever you want to call it, the, the Pro Series. And if so, which round, which multiple rounds, whatever it is, you know, comments below, tell me. Obviously, uh, I live in the Northeast, so I'm going to be going to Southwick because I actually really fucking love Southwick. Sand tracks, baby, hell yeah. <laughs> but obviously, the, the big news, what I, what I consider to be big news coming out this year is uh, I have a video, I'm going to link it little card whatever in the top right somewhere up there you know if you haven't heard yet and you don't care or if you don't know Ryan Dungey announced that he was going to be racing the the first two yeah the first two rounds of you know Paula and whatever the other one is in California which is like sweet you know cool hey Ryan Dungey is back for a couple races in California I'll never get to see it because I don't live out there and you know whatever sweet I get to watch that on TV <laughs> no Apparently, 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 he has said in a in a Pulp MX show the other day that he's planning on doing all 12 rounds, and that to me that's super cool to have Ryan Dungey. You know, he's still only like I want to say 32, something like that. When you consider Tomac is 30, you know, Barsha, Anderson, they're all 28, 29, 30. They're all range. It's not like he's super old. And he's been out of the out of the game for five years now. So he's going to be, you know, he hasn't been injured. He hasn't been pushing himself in Supercross. He's not going to be, you know, tired from a whole season. He's going to come in and be obviously older and he hasn't been riding in five plus years. So you gotta say, yeah, he's probably gonna have a little bit of, of rust on him, but I think it's gonna be sweet. You're gonna have, you know, the old guard, Dungy, uh, Webb, not, no, 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 sorry, Webb's out. Dungy, uh, Tomac, you got Cairoli, the old guard of the, of the KTM riders, both champions, both race winners, both proven to be, you know, fast, competitive. And how cool would it be to see, you know, one or two of the, one of them or both of them in the championship hunt? Do I think that they're going to win? Probably not. You know, but it would be sweet to see Cairoli and Dungey battling with Tomac and Ferrandez and Roxon and, uh, you know, whoever the thrill is out. So Anderson. Uh, <laughs> It'd be cool. I think it'd be awesome, especially just to show that, like, hey, I can come back and be competitive. If this isn't some like PR thing where, hey, I'm Ryan Dungey, I'm gonna come race for like four or five rounds, but I'm really just gonna come finish like 15th. Yeah, no, I, I expect him to be competitive. Personally, I always like Dungey. He's a little wonderbred, if you know what I mean. Just, you know, kind of very bland, you know, not super huge on the personality, but always competitive, always on the podium, always, you know, winning or, or being right there. So it'll be cool to have him back in the sport because it's just, it's injecting somebody else who you think is a big name, who has a chance of winning, chance of competing for, you know, points, titles, maybe, maybe. <laughs> and if he does, well, that's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Because it's not just going to be, you know, obviously we've lost Webb for the outdoors. Uh, Cincerello's injured for the outdoors. So you've already lost two big names out of the series already. So injecting Cairoli and Dungey. No, I want to go this way. I want to go over bridge. I want to go over bridge. Yay, bridge. stop for this? No. Am I gonna slow down? Sure, but I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Son of my people! <laughs> oh man. But it is. 
injecting Cairoli and Dungy, and especially Cairoli, he only uh, tired last year or whatever, so they, he's still semi close to actually being in, I assume, in what would be race pace. I don't know, if, who knows if he's going to be doing more rounds, depends probably if he does well. I mean, obviously, if if you've got Dungy and Cairoli both doing well, KTM's not going to just say, nah, no, we don't want to keep running you. We want, <laughs> we want to look like we don't know what we're doing we have no chance of winning no like they'll they'll definitely keep running them if they're doing well because it just means hello mr harley no head nod no wave no nothing is it because i have more power than you maybe <laughs> Tell me, comments below, how well do you think they're going to do, who do you think is going to win the championship in general, it's just, you know, you can put out your hot take now, does he wave? <gasps> no he doesn't! Typical Harley! <laughs> Whatever, comment down below, I'll see y'all later, peace.